you know this 29 handles really nice even one person can launch and load it which is a huge advantage if you got a boat but you guys notice we already had our dock lines out and kind of staged and ready and knowing what you're going to do and having a plan even one person can launch a pretty big boat so i'm going to try to throw some cool tidbits in for everyone today i know we're not in the boat shop but just basic boat handling and even towing if that happens nice to know what to do if that happens while you're out on the water so you guys hang tight we're fixing to get this boat underway all right guys we are on the boat and we've got the motors running right now and the boat is secured to the dock i kind of wanted to go over some basic boating stuff maybe some of you folks are new to boating or haven't handled a boat much and when you're at the boat ramp there's kind of always some protocol we've got the motors are running they are warmed up we have gone in our compartment there and we've pumped up the priming bulbs we made sure all of our systems are operational we're kind of factoring in the amount of wind we have and at this point we're going to get ready to go ahead and slip the boat loose from the dock and it should be a pretty simple or easy process especially right now we have we have the wind to our favor and on our 29 i like to just wrap this dock line back around the cleat so that it's handy when we need it and we're going to go ahead and get this aft line one thing you don't want to do is be laying here at the dock get everybody in the boat and shove away from the dock and you don't have the engines running that means you don't have the boat under control and there's always a chance that a tidal uh, some tide water or some wind or another boat could throw a wake or move you and make you lose control of your boat and that's not a good thing so we've got a light wind pushing the boat into the dock and honestly a lot of times what i'm going to do is just give the boat a good shove once we know that we are clear and ready to go gonna make sure you got your safety lanyard on these motors have a pretty cool feature in that you can push a button so that only one of the levers controls both of the motors we're looking out for other boaters see how nice and easy we are pulling away from the dock there no drama no fuss just take your time and we're all doing this in idle there's not a whole bunch of throttle involved typically if you're doing it right it doesn't require a huge amount of throttle to maneuver the boat we are backing around the other ramp is clear we're going to go to neutral give the moments of props a second to slow down and we are back and forward and we are under way just as easy as that but it's kind of funny there's all kind of rules of the road folks when you're out here who has right away and who you're supposed to veer off for the other boat but when we were in coast guard school and doing training there's actually a sentence in there that says when all else fails avoid a collision so when you're in a basin or a harbor today it's pretty quiet in here but sometimes there's a ton of boats moving around and they may not know the rules of the road so if everybody kind of just gives way and behaves themselves normally it's going to be an easy smooth process for everybody so i'm kind of excited to be out on the water today being in a shop all the time it's uh this is my happy place i enjoy being out on the boat and doing this kind of stuff and also we're going to be going and helping my brother mark today move his big sailboat from bond secure over to a big marina where he's going to have some work done so we're going to have a lot of that here in the video for you guys today and if i haven't said so i want to thank everyone for tuning in it means a ton to me that you guys are watching the channel and following it i know this is a little bit different today but um just thank you i appreciate it
folks we are approaching a no wake zone right up here now if you're out on the water and you don't know this you are responsible for your wake which is the big wave you're creating back behind the boat and generally anytime you're near a marina or a fuel dock or a boat ramp and you can see these signs And this is one of those things, if you don't know this, when it says no wake, that means you're not producing any notable wave action behind the boat. So that's pretty much gonna be idle speed or just slightly above. That does not mean just slow down a little bit or put the boat in a half plane position. That'll get you a ticket from marine enforcement. And you're actually throwing a bigger wave when you're going at partial speed than you are when you're at full plane. So if you look behind the boat right now, we're turning less than a thousand rpms and we are making minimal wave action and again that might protect you folks one of these days especially in bigger boats if you produce a big wave and it damages somebody else's boat or injures somebody while they're trying to launch your load you are in fact responsible so just be mindful of that and i always tell people to think about how you'd want to be treated if you were out on the water if you were out there with your family or kids you wouldn't want other big boats coming and throwing big crazy waves your direction and if everybody were to do that it'd be a lot more enjoyable out on the water we are rolling through one of the more popular areas down here though we are blessed with a lot of good waterfront restaurants to eat at that's one of our local favorites tacky jacks and then we got lulu's up here ahead of us lulu's is actually owned by jimmy buffett's sister lucy buffett and so that's kind of one of our local uh celebrity type folks and a really really good place to eat that's one of the cool things about having a boat is being able to access some of these waterfront uh, restaurants and other venues by boat it's always really really cool but you can see right up here we're approaching a fuel dock we got other boats coming in and out and you just always want to be courteous and mindful of other boaters and fishermen always cool thing that smaller shrimp boat back there which is actually one of our family's 37 footers that my father built a number of years ago it looks pretty small from here compared to the other big shrimp boat but it's actually 37 feet and uh, our family has built oh i think we built 30 35 maybe even 40 of those 37 footers and then we are approaching some shrimp boat docks we are down here at billy's seafood which is one of our favorite spots to come and get some fresh seafood sometimes they'll even nice enough to let us stop in here and take a restroom break when we're on some of our fishing charters and good place to pick up some fresh shrimp for bait while we're out here pretty cool little spot though it's been here since i was a boy and used to sell shrimp from this dock when i had a shrimp boat but we are now at aquila seafood and you can see they got a bigger operation lots of shrimp boats fishing boats and this is the world that i grew up in when i was a teenager our families more specifically my older brother mark always had a shrimp boat or some kind of a work boat and then as i got into my 20s i owned some commercial fishing boats and shrimp boats and spent a lot of time on the water commercial fishing and shrimping so a lot of our heritage goes back there i'm the first captain in my family to be a full-time charter guide as well as a boat builder so kind of gone away from the shrimping and fishing because it's just hard to make a living doing that these days there's more demand for the charter industry but mark's sailboats are right around the corner there's some dolphins there folks check it out you got some bottlenose dolphins a lot of times dolphins are part of our fishing trips they can be fun to watch and see but if you're trying to catch fish like speckled trout they could scare the fish away so it's kind of sometimes it's cool to see them and sometimes it's not cool to see them but uh yep and there's there's my brother's 
big sailboat right there around the corner. We have hooked on to Mark's sailboat and we got it connected at the bow. We're just using the trolling motor and a little bit of idle to pull him out of the slip. We're gonna get him right out here, out in the middle of the channel, folks. We got plenty of room to work and then we're gonna hook onto the bow and get him underway. But I'm finding that the trolling motor on the bow does a great job of controlling the boat. So if you've got a bow mount trolling motor and you're trying to pull somebody, you may want to deploy that trolling motor and use it like a bow thruster to kind of steer the bow around and pull. It allows precise movement, super, super easy. So we've got our bridles hooked up to the back that Mark custom made and we are, we are underway, folks. And I'm telling you, the trolling motor on the bow works amazingly good. Sometimes when you're trying to pull a big boat with a small boat, the big boat ends up kind of pulling you around but I'm able to keep the bow pointed the direction I want and use it like a bow thruster. Right now we're just going super easy, not a lot of power on anything, just making sure it does what we want it to do. But the journey has begun. <laughs> so we're just gonna settle in and take our time, just be nice and smooth, but I'm glad to be able to help my brother out because if you uh, guys haven't seen the boat build project, when we were building this 29, my brother Mark helped me a ton get this boat put together and just kind of want to pay it back towards him. So there we go. It looks good, man. We're underway. So we've just rounded the corner out of Bon Secure River behind me there. And then we've got Mobile Bay. And there's my old brother, Mark and Mark, in tow. We are making headway at this point. Got the intercoastal dead ahead. Probably gonna take us a couple hours or so to get there, but main thing is just take your time. Don't get in a rush if you're towing a boat. And the wind has picked up a little bit, but we got it totally under control. And right now we're running these Yamahas at 1800. We're making right at five miles per hour. And we're getting about 1.5 MPG. It seems a lot of times like when you're towing somebody else, that five, six mile an hour range is a kind of a sweet spot. Whoop, there's the big old highway 59 bridge we've already made it back been under tow for about an hour or so easing through the no wake zone want to keep enough forward momentum that uh we got control of the boat there's nobody at the dock there there's nobody getting fuel so we're going to maintain a little bit of a little bit of headway through here Check this operation out, y'all. Those are artificial reefs that uh, they build here at this facility. They take them out in the Gulf and deploy them. Alabama has one of the most extensive artificial reef programs in the world. There are over 10,000 pieces of material off of Alabama's coast that would constitute a artificial reef. And that's where a lot of our really good fishing comes from. Got one of the big dolphin cruise boats coming in. That is a popular pastime here in our area. And a lot of times on our charters, we see dolphins while we're out fishing and people really seem to enjoy that one. Now that's the sunny lady. Very good. In the summertime, that boat will be packed. Got your big sport fishermen's. We got the big Vikings and the Hatteras. We also live in a part of the world where marlin fishing and tuna, we have a really good blue marlin, white marlin, yellowfin tuna, blackfin tuna, mahi, wahoo, and a lot of bottom fish here in this part of the world as well. Red snapper, Orange Beach, Alabama is considered the red snapper capital of the world. And you can look back here on the channel and see we've got several videos where we're catching, catching some big ones. The season's closed right now, but here in a, another month or so, we'll be getting ready to catch him up there we go going under the big bridge got my bro in tow that's a big big viking right there folks i won't lie if the youtube channel ever goes really really big i would not mind having a bigger boat 
would, that would be, uh, yeah, that would be awesome, man. Some major money right there. Holy smokes. Folks, we have actually made it to the marina entrance. It's in the background, got Mark in tow, and was pretty proud of our planning today. We were supposed to be here at the marina at 1.30, and we're at 1.26 right now, sitting just outside the entrance. So it's always good when you can be on time and get things done when you hope they get done, but we wanna call the marina it's always a good idea to call these folks first and line things up and be sure they're available before you just show up. We want to make sure they are ready for us when we approach and then that way we can go straight into the big travel lift there. So we have made it right at two hours, which is really good time to go all the way from Bon Secure over here to over near Perdido Bay. So next time you see us, we'll be going up in the harbor. All right, we got made it to the marina. We're coming up on the approach. We got a little bit of wind from our left to our right, so I'm gonna try to hug a little bit tighter to the left. And we're gonna come in really slow. We wanna come in just fast enough that we maintain control of the boat, but sailboats carry a lot of momentum. See a marky mark up there on the bow. <laughs> they carry a lot of momentum, so we are gonna come in here very easy. We may even uh, come alongside Mark and use some of our dock lines and kind of just sister right up to the boat and control it. And I've got the trolling motor down again gives me a lot of control over that bow and just remember to come in nice and easy barbers marina's got two big travel lifts they're picking us up on the smaller one today so pretty exciting we made it over here in like two hours which is great time really really happy with that Put the slings under this thing and that's their little travel lift but look how easy it picks that boat up no problem all right they're getting ready to pick her up i'm going to give these guys plenty of room to work you can see some boats in the background this is a beautiful facility over here. Oh, look at that one. That's the old Madonka Dome. <laughs> Coming up. And those travel lifts are amazing. They can pick a boat up effortlessly. I'm glad we got that boat over here. That's been a project of Mark's and he's gonna be fixing that boat up and selling this thing. So any of you folks out there that are looking for like a liveaboard or something you could cruise around, uh, I think that's a 36 Tiana is what it is. And we're gonna be actually getting some more footage of this thing as he works on it. He's gonna be freshening up the bottom paint and got a little bit of mechanical stuff to do to get her in tip top shape. It's kind of cool though, there, there she is. growing up as a boy my dad would build some big boats and we would trailer them down to the marinas and they would pick them up off the trailer and launch them in the travel lift and i got to miss school a lot of times for the day because dad would work on these big boats sometimes it would take well over a year to get them complete and it was a big deal 
to launch one but it's a big deal to pick one up i'm happy for mark there she goes folks we are going to wrap it up i got mark here with me we are going to go ahead and take the 29 back to the boat ramp mark is going to be working for the next few days <laughs> to go to jail and torture <laughs> oh. it. it's going to be nice he's doing some boat work he's obviously bottom paint anodes some rudder work all that cool stuff i hope y'all enjoyed that little journey that's kind of a day in the life of some of the stuff we do outside of the boat shop but related to the boat world Got that big old 29 sitting over there with Logan ready to go. We got a fishing charter tomorrow. So we're going fishing offshore. Hopefully we do good. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you're enjoying the channel, be sure to give us that thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Captain Joe here with Fishbump TV, Island Marine Charters. Catch you guys next time out.